Aquarius what is going on my dears why you keep them so delirious baby what is going on with you it is Mira it is Shira it is Vera it is Scorpion Red Tarot and I am back at it one time for the one time to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for September 2020 show me the money energy I hope you guys have been behaving yourselves okay I want to Give a big shout out to every last one of you who has clicked this video, who has liked, shared, and subscribed at any point in time while I've been on YouTube. Thank you to every last one of you guys who have been booking um, and um, been sending love through the Amazon uh, wish list, the cash app, the PayPal, the love donations. I appreciate all of the love and the gifts that you guys have been giving during this season. You guys have been absolutely amazing. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with me, only thing you need to do is check the about tab on my youtube page or the description in this video um you connect with me on instagram messenger um if you don't have instagram messenger or don't have an instagram page you can connect with me on google hangouts it's a free app to download the only thing that we need to exchange is our email my email is scorpionreds at gmail.com so if you are not an instagram user and you need to connect with me on google hangouts for the reading make sure you go ahead and shoot me an email if you have any questions about how to get that set up okay um it's a free app to download after we do the reading if you don't want to keep it you can delete it but if you like to communicate with people and you don't want to exchange numbers the only thing you want to exchange is your email. It's a good way to um, communicate with people, you know, without exchanging too much information. So it may be a cool little app for you to keep. So, as you know, I always give praises and give thanks to the Creator, to the Lord, before we get into any energy. So, we're just going to go ahead and just, you know, give shout out to him real quick so father god thank you so much for bringing us here um for the sign of aquarius uh we thank you so much for keeping us grounded and keeping us leveled in everything that's going on right now in the state of america we've been keeping ourselves busy we've been keeping ourselves afloat by creating new projects starting new businesses just you know using this ingenious mind and our intelligence to just pave the way for new blessings and new foundations in the future like no matter what goes on in the world we just want to be prepared and we just want to be steady and we just want to be ahead of the game so father god thank you so much for just keeping us like I said grounded and focused um give us guidance that we need during um this season during september 2020 show me the money energy and just thank you for all the blessings and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future amen amen hold on real quick you guys <clears throat> so let's get into this so I got this new little deck that I be using. It's from a game. It's called um, what is this called? What do you mean? So it be having like all of these <laughs> viral memes and stuff that y'all have seen on the internet. It's been making my personal friends very, very interesting. So we're gonna do this today and. I have been keeping the cards face down and been, you know, flipping them over one at a time and things like that. I've been like, you know, it's just been going that way. So I am going to do that. All right. And if someone will be so kind, if you wouldn't mind putting a time stamp to skip ahead after I don't already laid all of the cards I got great thank you so much
right, you guys. <clears throat> Last deck. I really love this deck. I forget which one of you guys donated this deck to me. It's called Doors. It's like called Sacred Doors. And it has all of these pictures of all of these different doors and pathways. So I've really been loving the energy that we've been getting from me. So. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get into this Aquarius. Let's see what we got going on for you guys for September 2020. Let's start out with the What Do You Mean card. And we, ooh. <laughs> you got the, the tombstone with the It Was Lit fan. <laughs> Who you laying around? Who are you laying the rest talking about it was lit? It's either that or it's like, man, I'm about to go out with a bang. Like, I don't, I'm not, okay. So, I am getting somebody that they feel like there's some type of sickness or something like that going on. And it's like, I'm getting cancer. So, and, and my heart goes out to anybody that's finding out that they have any type of cancer or anything like that going on in their, you know, in their system. Um, if there is anybody dealing with any type of sickness, I, I am getting like, y'all gonna go out with a fucking bang, like for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, if, 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 if this is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you don't know, wrap your mind around it and it's like, I'm not gonna let this sickness become my life. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna live my life to the fullest. And I really don't see you guys letting the sickness beat you at all. It's like you guys are going to keep a very healthy mind. You're going to eat right. You're going to exercise. You're going to be more adventurous. And, and like whatever this sickness scare is, which I really do feel like you're going to beat, it's just, it just made you wake up and, and decide to start living more. If this is not anything that has anything to do with a sickness, I want to say that you guys uh, have buried a situation where it's just like, you know, charge it to the game. Oh, well, I had fun. It was lit. You know what I'm saying? But shit, ashes to ashes, dust to dust out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? What is this? This is the four of pentacles. So this is someone keeping itself reserved, saving their money. Like, taking stock of everything that they have, being a little bit stingy right now, you know? So, I definitely feel like it may be a situation with someone where, you know, it was fun while it lasted, but shit, love is bittersweet. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, but love is bittersweet sometimes, you know? Right now, Aquarius is not playing no games. Like, the bank is closed. Like, if you were constantly helping and being, you know constantly offering and giving to people like you may have like close to charity you know what I'm saying so um you may have some money that you are keeping in the reserve that people don't know about and you may be being very secretive right now with just do cause you know what I'm saying you feel like you have a reason to be secretive with people and you don't feel like you are in a position to help people and you don't need to let everybody know what you have or where you're going or what you're about to do. It's like um, a wise person once told me, you tell people about your goals after you've completed it. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know who is wishing ill intentions on your blessings, you know? So it's like you may be keeping something to yourself because that's what you were being advised to do. You know what I'm saying? You might not be letting a lot of people in. You may not be helping and just as giving as it was. It was lit. You know what I'm saying? But right now, it's like I got to hold on. You know what I'm saying? I got to chill out. I got to put you on <laughs> got put you on pause a little bit here. What is this? This is the eight of... This is the eight of... <laughs> this is the eight of swords in the reverse. So, like, you are being released from a mental prison. Like, you don't feel bound. You don't feel trapped anymore. Um, and it seems like a situation where it has to do with some type of financial institution having to give to something. I'm, I am feeling a financial institution. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you're keeping your funds back from a financial institution. You feel like you shouldn't have to pay them. You feel like this these people are trying to keep you trapped. And, um... 
I don't know, maybe you're trying to defer your payments and you're trying to hide your assets for something because it's like you're trying to get out of something. Um, you don't want the mental stress of having to give or anything like that. You're being very secretive and you're keeping yourself aloof right now. Like you may have like a very aloof, very a uh, stone face like very emotionless face right now you know what I'm saying because I feel like you're trying to escape something but it's like you're not trying to let everyone know that you're trying to uh, maneuver and figure a way out of a situation um so I, I feel like this has to do with some type of because you do you see this man literally trying to chisel his way he is about to create a gateway to get him out of this goddamn hell and this prison man he is like no ma'am you about to let me out of here. You see how long his beard, you know, grew. He got shackles on and stuff like that. It's like, no, I want I want freedom from, like, a responsibility of some sort. Let's figure out what it says. Bless this space. So, it's like you feel like the place where you're at in life, I really do feel like you have released and let go of something. Um, and, again, it may just be... You feeling trapped inside of a mental prison and mental walls. Like you could just be like a hermit. You don't go anywhere. You don't want to do anything. It's just like I want to be trapped out of this uh, toxicity of my mind. Where it's just like I haven't been going out and experiencing life the way that I want to. So it's like you may be breaking out of these mental chains. And it's like you may be saging and cleansing your space. You may be like freshening your space rejuvenating your energy and things like that so that you could be free of whatever it was that was mentally keeping you confined you know what i'm saying so you can find some balance and bringing these new beginnings bringing this creation bringing this new drive this state of independence this leadership you know this originality to want to do something new you know what i'm saying so it's like i need to hold off and keep myself and keep my assets reserved until i figure this out because i, I gotta break away i gotta break free it's this is blessed this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santo or sage will cleanse the air. Cleanse the space. Look, don't it look like he was in the prison? He was trying to chisel out a pathway. Doesn't it look like an open pathway? An escape or release? Fresh air? New energy? Like, that seems like. That's what you're craving. So it seems like you guys have laid to rest something and you're keeping yourself reserved while you're releasing yourself from something. What is this? Thoughts. So you guys may be thinking of something new. I don't even think that this is someone that you know. I feel like you guys are just picturing right now in your head like... You're cleansing your space like you want new free energy. You're picturing what a new situation, what a new love life would look like. Like you may be, you guys may be artists. You, you guys may be freehand drawing a picture of what you think that your new spouse or whatever. And you may be manifesting it like that. Like continue to use those thoughts in a positive way so that you can create this, so that you can bring this into your life. And like I said, bless this space and, you know. Open up doors. Release all that old energy and open up doors and open up windows to bring in fresh air. New energy. What is this? The world. So, you, I don't really like the picture of this world. But you know what the world means? The world means the closing of old chapters and moving into new futures, new dimensions, new galaxies, new destinies. You know what I'm saying? It means like, you know, your fate. Your fate calling you. Like, you know, you've done all that you were supposed to do. In this time, in this space, where you're at, all the lessons have been learned, common slate has been cleansed. It's time for you to go to the next chapter in that book. It's no point to keep reliving and rereading old chapters when you've already experienced that. It's time to move on. So, um, maybe this was a painful experience in your life because it doesn't seem like this person is really enjoying like having sex with this person. Like, can you really, really see her like she doesn't look like she's really really enjoying it so I feel like what this is saying is like <clears throat> and as you can see this is someone breaking free and reserving it it was fun while it was lasted but love is bittersweet sometimes like I'm maybe something I enjoyed when it first started maybe it got too rough it got too 
I'm here in violent and got like too manhandle it. She wasn't pleasurable. You know what I'm saying? And it's like this person doesn't want to experience that anymore. This person wants something new. This person wants something sensual. You know what I'm saying? Do you see how this person has the mirror right down in their, in their hand? It's like they have to look at their reflection and really see like, do you see yourself? Do you look like you're enjoying? No. You know what I'm saying? So it's like lesson learned. Case closed. I'm thinking of something brand new, something that is more cleansing, no more cleansing and more pleasing to the eye, more cleansing to my soul. I want out of this. I'm not giving to this anymore. You know what I'm saying? I have a lot to give, but I ain't giving it to that. You know what I'm saying? Let me bless this space so I can bring in some new clean energy. What is this? Discernment. So this is discernment card. So this was in the reverse. So what I'm basically taking from this is this like I want to say maybe you were young or you were just inexperienced at one point in time in your life. And you may have been living with your heads in the clouds, you know. Um, and you didn't have clear discernment. There could have been signs. There could have been certain things that should have showed you or could have given you an inclination that something was going to be fun or that you were going to have to give a lot. Or, you know, like I said, it, it's like. Have you ever had a relationship where you met someone at a club and it was really fun in the beginning, but then once the relationship got serious, it was like, well, when are we going to take the club out of the relationship? Because at the end of the day, it's like, I want to settle down and find something that I can really give to. You understand? Like, I don't want to be trapped in a situation where I feel like, yeah, I'm in a relationship, but the person I'm in a relationship is out in the world doing whatever the fuck they want to do. That's not happy to me. It's like, I want to be, I, I'm, I'm not giving to this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was lit in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? But when it comes to longevity and what I really want in the future, nah. You know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes you become home drunk. Be dealing with me all rough and manhandling me. And I don't be enjoying that shit sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm i feeling like, that's what I'm feeling like. It was like, it was fun in the beginning, but it's just like, that shit is not. I feel like, because do you see how long this person's hair grown? It's like, this person has grown old. And it's like, this shit isn't fun anymore. And I don't want to be trapped in this existence anymore. And maybe I was... Being more governed by the moon, being governed by my intuition, and you know, I intuitively I felt like I needed to be here with you, but maybe I was more wrapped up in the illusion of what I wanted it to be versus what it really was, you know. And that's where that discernment card is coming in. Let's see what's below that. This is the Eight of Wands. <laughs> And I want y'all to check out the Eight of Wands card. Do you see how the Eight of Wands, do you see how she severed this man's head? I don't know why this deck, this woman has a severed head. Why does she have a severed head? Yo, I'm just, I'm so sorry. Do y'all see this? Y'all see this, right? You see she got the knife in her hand, the severed head, the blood. She's hiding that shit in the woods. She looks like she about to go bury her skeletons or something like that. So, like, and this is the Eight of Wands. So, the Eight of Wands depicts, like, the Eight of Wands can be about scandals. It can be about secrets. It can be about, like, people accusing you of something, like, uh... Like, or something happened quickly, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're saying somebody took your head off and ran with it. So it's like, they okay. So they said they blew your head up, took it off, and ran with it. You see what I'm saying? And left you. You left you with the body. You know what I'm saying? And deal with the emotions. You see what I'm saying? Like this person took your mind, like inflated your head. Do you see what I'm saying? Like this person inflated your head, took it off and ran with it. You know what I'm saying? And left you with the rest of your body to deal with the emotions. You see what I'm saying? And this person is still still got your mind. That's why this is here. That's why you just like, uh-uh, ain't, mm, mm It's like maybe you didn't see somebody for who they were. There could have been like gossip there could have been rumors there could have been people telling you that maybe you were moving too fast in a situation because the eight of bonds represents like 
rapid communication like you guys could have met each other online or something like that or like maybe someone just went off of face value do you understand what i'm saying they they just went off of face value what they seen online you know what i'm saying and just took off with it and just things just kind of went fast and it was you know what i'm saying a lack of discernment at first but you know now i feel i am feeling like this is something where someone gassed someone up online it's like when someone was gassed up online and they took their head and ran off with it it's like they took this person's mind and ran off with it and this person knows what to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like this person knows what to do. This person knows how to. You know what I'm saying? I want another card on top of that. Like, I really, really do. Please give me another card on top of that. Because I really do need clarification on this Eight of Wands. Because I've never in my life, in my black ass life, seen the eight of wands depicted as that the page of swords so it's like it was premature communication i feel like you really didn't know this person that much like you literally went you took you took off with face value like you know what i'm saying like this person really did like put whatever they wanted you to see online and like was might have been behind a profile like gassed you up you know what i'm saying and like once they knew that they had your mind, like, they left you to deal with the heart and the emotions and all of that other shit. You know what I'm saying? It's like, things happen so fast. It could have happened quickly. It's like, you should have studied or you should have took more time to pay attention to the type of person and who you were getting involved with. It's like, this person might have been all about fast communication and a good time. You know what I'm saying? But not about longevity and enjoyment like for real for real you know what i'm saying like this person may get off on like quick moving relationships and like i want to say like mental manipulation or something like that or just sexual um because with this eight of wands it's like i'm really talking it's like talking a lot like this person talk a lot and people talk a lot about them. And it's like, if you would have paid more attention, it's like what I'm getting with her is like with this page of swords. If you, if especially if y'all met online, if you would have went online, if you would have searched through them comments a little bit more, if you would have did like your real due diligence, would have looked and seen what people were saying about them, like the comments and stuff like that, like really paid attention pay attention to what type of stuff this person posts and you know like I feel like you would have understood a little bit more of, 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 of that maybe later on down the line you know your world would change and you wouldn't necessarily be enjoying what you were receiving as in the big in the end as much as you were in the beginning but it looks like you definitely change and you're having thoughts about someone else you're moving on you're getting out of this situation but it definitely seems like this person wasn't what they perceived to be and there was a lack of discernment and i see with this 10 this is endings you know what i'm saying so it's like your head ain't stuck in the cloud anymore you know what i'm saying what is this this is the star card listen so it's like you're the fucking star like you're every niggas fantasy you know what i'm saying it's something about you i feel like you're kinky you're very open you're very expressive i feel like you have your own little social group it could be like a kink group or something like where you be into some other little shit and you could be like very popular in this group or something it's like with this star card i feel like you know who you are you know what you want to be you know what you like you know what i'm saying like you've been praying and wishing for someone i feel like you have a certain sexual appetite or certain kink or fetish level or something and it's like you want someone that really understands you and not about just moving on quickly and shit trying to gas somebody up like nah do you really get me do you understand what i'm saying like someone that i can really have faith in someone that i can trust in you know what i'm saying someone like even on a spiritual level, like, we can do our little freaky kinky shit, but, like, we can sit down under the stars and moons and, like, really talk about, like, real serious things. Like, you know, um, 
this is someone that has a firm understanding of their self. I don't feel like you're ashamed of who you are or that you are going to hide who you are and what you like. Um, and there are many, many people like even even like some people may think that you're strange, but there are so many people that think that you are fucking amazing. Like all of this shit that you do, like these people really, really like it and really enjoy it. So, um, hey, you guys, I'm recording. So, and then you got toil and labor. So this means like you're a hard worker. You're very dedicated to being a star. Like, I feel like you're moving on. You understand? Like, whatever this was, whatever this state of existence was where you weren't enjoying yourself, you're not staying there anymore. You've moved way past that where don't she look like she enjoying herself? She looks like she's in a community or she's around people that are just as kinky or just as strange as she is. You're not doing anything by force. You're not being with people intimately that are not really taking your wants and your desires into account. The people that you with now, they're all about your wants and desires. Do you understand what I'm saying? They just want to watch you. They just want to gaze at you. They, like, they wish they've been wishing for someone like you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's like you've worked hard to get to this point. So you might have you might have released somebody and you might have released somebody mentally and physically. You know what I'm saying? Because this is like a physical restriction. Like you're physically restricting someone. Bank is closed. Shops closed. Okay? It was lit. It was lit for me. I hope it was lit for you. Shit. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm not open. I'm not open. I'm not telling you nothing like you may even like have just like I, I want to say stop communicating with someone because I feel like you you may feel like this person is just trying to gas you up and there's a lot of things being said and you want to do a little bit more investigation on someone because it's like you're not about to just take my head and run off with it like that you know what I'm saying like I might you know what I'm saying like I have to have a little bit more level headedness and I need to have some more discernment because it's like I know who I am I'm the fucking star I worked hard I worked hard. I paid the cost to be the boss. So, uh, I, I, let me look into you a little bit more. I don't know what the hell going on with you. What is this? This is the emperor. The emperor. So, it's like you guys want someone that's a boss. That's a leader. Someone that is like very inspirational to the community. You know what I'm saying? Someone that is not just concerned about their kids and their family. About the whole community you know what i'm saying this is someone that may do the soccer league for the kids may do some um computer charity something for underprivileged kids in a in a, in a you know deprived area like this is someone that will stand up for the weak and protect the poor like this is like a good man this is an entrepreneur this is someone that may be teaching other um younger kids in the community like how to start a business just like going around taking out the trash and stuff like that for the elderly or just sweeping the front of their yard cutting grass and like you know what i'm saying like this person got it out the mud and is a real 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 um what you would consider an amazing person this is a father figure. This is traditionally a married man, a good man. Like he is a protector and he's a provider. He is all things that a man should represent. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it looks like, and I'm getting an Aries or Taurus energy here. Um, I'm definitely getting an Aries or Taurus energy here. But what I'm getting is it's like, I feel like you're keeping yourself reserved for a boss like you want a boss you want a leader you want someone that is 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 in control at all times someone that you could rely on someone that's responsible and then you got the then you got the knight of cups 
so it's like you could be getting some type of like love letters some type of affection like someone might be trying to date you and take you out right now um this may be someone that you felt like spiritually like your ancestors of god somebody sent to you to fill your basket or something like that you know like this could be an older individual you know what i'm saying like maybe someone um, connected you guys together you know what I'm saying so whoever you were dating that it was just fun you know what I'm saying and you really want to join yourself and you've been dealing with them I don't know maybe you met them in the party scene and y'all just ended up fucking with each other for too long you realized you was the star it's too much toil and labor in this situation and shit you should have did a little bit more research had a little bit more discernment I feel like you are attracting something on a different level now let me see why this is upside down what is this the lovers in the reverse. So with this lovers card being in the reverse, it seems like this is someone that it could be a very strong connection. But at the same time, I feel like you're still trying to release yourself and remove yourself from this right here. So um, this definitely over here seems like where it's going. Let me see this. The mature woman in the reverse. So again... I feel like ever, ever the Aquarius is like this emperor energy. You know what I'm saying? Ever you are keeping yourself back from because I only thing I'm picturing is this woman right here. Like there's some man that should have did a little bit more research with this woman. Like she's beautiful and, and mysterious and everything, but like things went real fast with her. Like you should have looked into her. Like you, I think you talked to her too fast before you really did. Like this. I don't feel like this woman is mature or something like that. Like, or it's something about if you're a female Aquarius, like, you need to cleanse your space. It seems like you're thinking about someone else and you're trying to move on. And it seems like you're working really hard on being the star and focus on everything it, that you're praying for. You're trying to attract the right type of person. It seems like that, that that's what this is right here. But... You might come into the situation off of some lovers in the reverse thing because it seems like you still may be trying. So it may be like a third party situation off. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what this says. A note on love. Someone is definitely opening up the gate for you. And you know green represents the heart chakra, y'all. It says seek different seasons and enter into the unknown. When love is the focus, foundation, and goal, blessed is the body, mind, and soul. So I'm serious. I feel like you are blessing. And I don't know if you are like cleansing your body or something like that. Like it was lit, but you got to go. You got to go because it's like. This one is serious. This one is real serious. This one is coming at you hard. Like you may feel like your ancestors sent this one to you. Like this is the one that you've been praying for. Like you know what I'm saying? Like wishing upon the stars for. This is, you know, you worked real hard for this. You worked real hard to get out of whatever mental situation you worked to get out of. Seek different seasons and enter into the unknown. It was lit, fam. Deuces. You got to go. You're blessing this space. You're cleansing this space. You're rock solid on getting... I, look, you see the doorway, the entryway? You see this shit? You were, like, so serious about getting out of there. What is this? The five of swords in the reverse. So, like, this is, like... This is basically where it's like some type of old-fashioned thinking or something that you need to release um or get over this is like to me when you're coming to terms that because the five of swords in the upright is someone being outsmarted being uh manipulated by someone, right? This so is someone outsmarting someone. In the reverse, this could be either something going hella fucking wrong, or it could be you guys 
having a change of mind, like having outdated thinking, like realizing like, yeah, this motherfucker fucked me over last time. So I might need to step my game up, step my knowledge up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe accepting defeat a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And realizing that you need to train yourself a little harder about something. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you may be kind of throwing in the towel about something because it's like, it's like, I want out of it. Like, I give up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I feel like you don't want to come into a new situation. You want to come into the situation like this. You don't want to come into it like this. You know what I'm saying? Because the five of spades in the reverse is when it's like a lose-lose battle for everybody. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it could also mean... When the trickster was trying to trick you and was trying to outsmart you and you let them win the battle, but you won the war. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you might have let them think that they were winning the whole time. You were saving face because you really didn't love them. You see what I'm saying? You really didn't love them like you were keeping the shit that you had a secret or maybe you were keeping the emperor a secret while you're escaping this. You're not giving to this anymore because you don't move the fuck on. You don't even like the way this person touches you anymore. I feel like you cringe. You've been having thoughts about somebody else. I want to say that you've been cleansing your body and you've been removing yourself from this lack of discernment. You are seeking a different season with a different lover. I just feel like you were trying your best to break. Like, it may be toil and labor. Like, you may be working tirelessly to break free from this situation because you found someone that you've been wishing and praying for. You wish you would have paid more attention to the person that you really got involved with because they really took your head and ran off with it. And now you realize to do a little bit more research and just don't be jumping out there. Um, you may have felt like you might have not been acting as mature at first, but now you got the emperor. Listen, you got the emperor twice. You got the emperor twice. So, again, I don't know if this is like the lovers. I feel like this is someone that is carrying one situation on into another. And this person is dealing with an older person. And he's a good man. He's a committed man. He's a dedicated man. And he don't take and tolerate no bullshit. I feel like but he might just be in love with this immature girl. That is still having to release and let her let herself go from a past situation. But she's trying though. Because she's saying that shit was lit but that shit is over. But it's like she's still breaking away and she's trying to cleanse her space. And all she can think about is moving on over here. But it's just like I don't want to come over here with my... What, dirty. You know what I'm, And I really want to say like she adores the shit out of... She adores this older man. She adores this emperor. And I feel like she moves very fast. Like she may be too, too, too much for his speed. Like this girl may move fast. Like she may be very fast. You know what I'm saying? Like she may want to have sex all the time and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like she, she bounces from one lover to another. And, like, he's not dating a mature woman. He's dating a woman that's younger. And it may just not be as emotionally mature. Because it was lit, fam. Because, like, an older man don't talk like that. It was lit, fam. Like, this is a young girl. This is like a dude messing with a young girl. I don't know if the emperor is keeping the money back from her. Because he tried to get the fuck away from her. And he should have looked into her. Like, this bitch got lovers and shit. He ain't about to be out here fighting with motherfuckers. It's a lose-lose situation. He trying to cleanse his space. It looked like he may be thinking about a mature woman. But it may be like this girl may be the star. Because she just like freaky and she kinky. And she just do all of the shit that the nigga like and shit. But, like, this bitch is treacherous or some shit. Like, there's rumors about this girl. Like... Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I gotta go. Okay, <laughs> okay, I am reloaded. Boom, I gotta get up out of here. I love you guys. Peace, Aquarius. 
Hit the like button.